What's up about life fam? Here it is Wednesday, the dawn of a new day. Also the dawn of embarking on a new adventure, a new life. Basically what I'm saying, that it is time to let go, let God, and let's grow. What's up about life fam? Here it is Wednesday. It is dawn of a new day. Also embarking on a new life, new adventures, and new life experiences. So what that means, it is just about time for Hot Boy Summer. That's right. Still single out here in these streets searching, trying to find hopefully my uh, soulmate. Someone who can be loyal, faithful, who ain't attached, uh, a mature-minded woman. Um, one who is uh, over her past and who is focused on her future. Four, you only have the future to look forward to because if you're stuck in the past, guess what? I don't know how in the hell you're going to last, right? So with that being said about life, fam, let's, let's go out into the world and make this place a better place. Say yeah. It's sh yeah. It's sh yeah. It's sh yeah. It's sh yeah. Shan underscore about life. Say yeah. What's up about life fam? I just left the gym. It's time to get some of that good uh, nourishment in your body. You know what I'm saying? You got to be right and keep it tight because anything else is uncivilized. But nevertheless, just an extension of uh, yesterday. Um, 
11 signs that tell you it's time to let go, right? Letting go is one of the hardest things to figure out in life as your emotions usually cloud your logic. And because your feelings make it harder for you to concentrate, it seems like the art of letting go can be confusing as well as complicated, right? But you will find that it is necessary to let go. Simple for the reason that they are heavy, so let them go. That is a quote by C. Joe Bell. Um, number one, you're expected to sacrifice your personal values and change into someone you're really not. So what that simply means is by you allowing somebody to uh, compromise your essence, your mind, it's simply because you are weak. You are allowing yourself to be vulnerable to a person, property, or a thing, if you will, right? So why continue? Let it go. But, you know, some people are just stubborn, hard-headed, and... Obviously, they enjoy that uh, lifestyle. So, like my sister Rob always say, shout out to you, sis. That's on them. Wise words from a wise woman. Number two, your trust is constantly broken. You know, as we say, a person will uh, word play you, tell you this, tell you that. But their uh, intentions behind it is never genuine. I call that a narcissist uh, in an insecure child who hasn't yet grown up and uh, maybe that a uh, person will grow up one day before it's too late because the person in, in, in my opinion as well as others is a piece of shit and and so if you allow that within well, that makes you a piece of shit too so obviously you need to let go and possibly be by yourself people don't don't try to uh, toxicate someone else with your bullshit Number three, stay, staying in it is always makes you feel broken, depressed, as well as frustrated. You know, that's also like with a job, right? You you feel so frustrated that you go to a job that you really don't care for, but you know you need the money. But if you got skills, guess what? You don't have to stay in that job, just as well as with that uh, fucked up ass relationship. You don't have to stay in it, but you know, there again, if anybody is uh, choosing to stay, any uh, trouble bond, relationship job that just means that they deserve what you get so like my sister say shout out to your sis that's on them um <clears throat> number four you feel inferior what that means is that you you for some reason feel that you are inadequate uh in actuality you're not you're just stupid um i'm just gonna get straight to the point I'm not even playing with nobody because life is uh, limited. So why should we continue to like sugarcoat shit and then play with ourselves? Because we know who we are as a person, well, you would think. Uh, number five, you justify that it is worth holding on when it's really not. <laughs> you know what about life, fam? I've actually heard that in uh, real life. Uh, number six, <clears throat> You can't remember the last time you were happy. Hmm. Even though, you know, we got some people out there playing house. Um, and they might have those. Uh, <laughs> so what they think intimate moments and then so they reminisce over the uh, bullshit. And that's really what it is. Bullshit. Um, <laughs> we're going to move on to. We're going to skip number seven. We're going to move on to number eight. Express yourself. When was the last time you did that? If you find that your opinions are always suppressed and your feelings are never acknowledged, why are you still holding on? You know you're better than that, right? We all know we're better than that. But there again... About life, fam. 
do you feel that you better than that? Because if you don't feel that you ain't better than that, well, then you just as bad as the shit that you deal with. Number nine, you refuse to acknowledge the present is because it hurts too much. We all have been hurt before. You know the present hurt. It's, it's called when you're living in reality. You are living in the reality, but you refuse because it's clouded by weed smoke, right? Cigarette smoke, smog in the air, just smoking mirror bullshit from the people, the person. This shit disgusts me, y'all. Like, it really does that there are some stupid ass people in the world that still exist to this day. Uh, number 10, there's inconsistency every single time. Lord have mercy. There is inconsistent every single time. Let the church say amen. Inconsistency. They come up with excuses, reasons as to why. Well, you know, I couldn't do this. I was tired. I fell asleep. Oh, my baby daddy, my baby mama, my kids, my mama, my daddy, my my car, my this. I ate something bad so I don't feel good. What, what are the acronyms that we currently using today? W-T-F. That's right. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Last but not least, number 11. You've already exhausted all your efforts, but everything stays the same. Amen by my motherfucking self. You have told, you have done, you have came, you seen, you saw, you wrote, you cry, you tweeted. You FaceTime, you text, you had sit downs, you had smoke sessions, you drunk together, you reminisce, and ain't nothing changed because the bottom line is that either a motherfucker wants you in their life or they don't. And if they do want you in their life, it could be for a hidden agenda. For a hidden agenda to uh, use you because. As they say, we are grown. Why can't we exercise our grown minds to do what we need to do for ourselves? We all are capable of doing for ourselves, right? Nevertheless, the notes is in the video. I advise anybody that is going through this, read them. Maybe it'll help you, but then again, if you are a stupid motherfucker, it doesn't matter. It ain't gonna help. Because like my mama say, this is a shout out to Mama Medea. A wise man will change, but a fool won't. So with all that being said about life, fam, we wanna welcome our new subscribers. Those, uh, check out the channel because you can most definitely learn something. We got some we got some awesome content coming. Like I said, it is hot boy summer. Out here single in these streets, trying to mingle. You know, life is limited, do you? Don't give a fuck about what anybody say because if the person ain't in your life trying to help enhance nor advance your life and your situation, guess what? What they say is like an opinion, which is an ass, and everybody got one. That's right, about life, fam. It's time to boss up. Take control of your own destiny with God at the helm and at the steering wheel. Let you know that it's time to get it so what about life like share subscribe and let your folks know that it's time to boss up let's get it say yeah be careful how you treat me you, you ain't gonna meet a me every day anybody who had me and lost me regrets me to this day Tell him shish is back.